yo, I'm gonna try something new. It's gonna be like a daily vlog, but it's not gonna be a daily vlog because I don't think anyone wants to see what I do every day. But right here, first marketplace find of the year. And they're going on the laser. So 350 bucks, picked them up local in Cessnock. Um, they're just a 15, 15 by seven or 15 by eight. I honestly don't even know. Got little gutter marks and whatnot, but they look heaps, heaps better than those. My problem is I've rounded off this wheel nut and uh, I don't have a big shed and tools and everything anymore. So I'm gonna go over to Chris's house. He's gonna help me out and we're gonna get it sorted and get these wheels on. That's the first time I've driven the laser in uh, about a month and uh, it's happened to making a lot of noise but that's all right, they'll sort themselves out. Just need to rev it a little bit. They'll eventually stop. But yeah, so now I'm just heading over to Chris's and um, we'll get these wheels done, get tacos on the way. New Velo steering wheel I got for Christmas. So this morning I've already been over to uh, where I keep my tow truck and I went to start my tow truck and the battery's dead so I came home and uh, birthday present I got back in November was a big fancy, it's like cat brand, um, it's like a jump starter pack, has an air compressor built in and 12 volt accessories. Anyway, long story short, my truck wouldn't start so I was meant to go and pick up some steel to do a project on the Rodeo over the weekend with my buddy Kyle. Because the truck wouldn't start, I was like, all right, well, I've got to go to Chris's in the laser. Then I had this dumb idea that maybe people might watch this. I mean, you're watching it, so more fool you. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to be doing after I've done this, which I may even video as well, because it's all part of it, it's all relevant. It's all motorsports. And, um, but for now, yeah, we'll go get these wheels on, do that, come home, jump in the Rodeo, go over to where I keep my tow truck, get that, go pick up the steel, drop it off, back in the Rodeo, go home. So it's pretty much a standard day for me. I mean, when I'm not at work anyway. But if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. If you don't, I'll stop doing them. I mean, people watch it, I'll keep doing it. Three of the three dollar tacos, please. Extra spicy. Extra spicy. Yes, please. Anything else? That's it. Thanks. Yeah, show brown. Hey, Chris. Hey, going. So I'm doing this new thing, and you're gonna love it. It's like a daily vlog, but it's not daily because my life sucks most days. Yeah. 
but sometimes we play with race cars. <laughs> Reckon people are actually going to watch it? Yeah, they should. They should be watching it. You hear that? You should be watching it. So before we do this, and while Chris grabs a couple of tools, I got tacos. Are watching at home, this is a qualified mechanic. <laughs> oh. Go on. Oi, oi, oi. I think we got it. We got it. And the only thing I'm surprised at, as I've been smashing tacos and he's been doing this, is that he didn't use a spanner to hit the uh, socket on. I'm questioning his qualifications right now. I would too. I would. I, would you agree that Snap On is Gucci for mechanics? It definitely is. It definitely is. Our friend Jared who um, his family owns O'Neill's Tyres. He's got the best Gucci, I mean, snap-on collection there is. Well, that I've ever seen anyway. And, um, yeah, love you, Jared. So we've gone with this style this time around. It's got the little, what do you call it? Like little star. Yeah, they used to be a lock nut when they first came out and then after my, more and more after my Apple wheels came out where they needed smaller wheel nuts. So yeah, they went for the more of a slim line design to smaller wheel nuts. There you go, like that. Should hopefully be better for what I'm doing, taking them on and off all the time. I think this one here, Chris. They 
would definitely suit the car way, way better. Way better. I like it. Righto, so it's all done. As you can see, these are like a Torx bit. So I won't have to worry about stripping out the uh, outside of the wheel nuts anymore. And because being a track car, you know, we take the wheels on and off this thing. I've got another set of semi-slicks at home. I've now got these ones in the back, which will become a spare set. But yeah, I think they look way cleaner, way neater, a lot nicer. I think the police will be a lot more happy with them. So yeah, overall, good buy. Thank you, Chris. All good, man. Anytime. Alrighty. Wheels are on the car. Say goodbye to Chris. Little bit of belt noise. That's pretty normal. It was actually pretty good this time. And uh, now I'm off to go and get steel. So I've got to go drop this home, grab the tow truck, and uh, get out of here. So when I left Chris's, I didn't do it necessarily in a hurry, but I really don't know that I want to go and play trucks in the rain right now. And with all that extra weight in the back and my mediocre suspension, these tires are scrubbing pretty good. So I'm going to go home, get everything out of the back of the car, maybe take it for another lap and see if they still scrub. Just an extra excuse to get the coilovers in quicker, I think. Uh, so it's weather does over the next half an hour and I may or may not go get the truck today. Might leave that for tomorrow. It's got way worse. I don't think I'm doing anything else today. I think I'm going to go home and uh, try and stay dry. Yeah, so as you can see by the weather, I don't think I want to go back out in this. It's, um, yeah. I'll try and sort my truck out in the morning, I suppose, and get this steel so I can do this other project. But pretty happy with the way these wheels look. Righto, it stopped raining. I'm gonna bite the bullet and go for it. So I've got, got this charger for Christmas off the missus. And I'm hoping it'll start the truck. So I've got the truck keys, let's go and see if it'll work. So, with some luck, this will work. Damn it. That is just not going to happen today, is it? Had it on charge while I went out and did the wheels and whatnot. And... <sighs> That's annoying. But yeah, so anyway, this is my tow truck. And the camper trailer as well. But yeah, it looks like I'll have to get up early in the morning after this thing's charged all night and hope that it starts then. Well, it's a bummer that I can't get the truck to start. Um, I don't think it's any fault of this uh, new battery pack I've got. I think the fault's entirely mine. I didn't let it charge long enough. That's okay. 
I'm going to get up early in the morning and try and do what I've got to do. I've got a few other things on tomorrow during the day and then tomorrow night I'm going over to Kyle's and we're going to be doing some work on this on the Rodeo. So hopefully uh, same deal, I'll get some content for you and I uh, promise I won't make this a daily thing. I don't get to work on race cars every day, my life's not that awesome. Wish it was, but it's far from it. Um, Believe it or not, some days I actually have to go to work and that sucks. But it is what it is. Got to pay for this stuff somehow. Um, but yeah, wrap it up here. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy it. If you don't, watch something else. There's plenty to watch. If you think this is a dumb idea, what I'm doing, doing these almost daily vlogs, which I promise it won't be even almost daily. It'll be once in a blue moon. But if you enjoy it, keep watching. Like, subscribe, as the cool kids would say. And um, I'll see where this goes. If not, I'll just keep doing racing content and hooliganism and everything else. But one way or another, whether you like it or not, I'm enjoying what I'm doing, so I'm not stopping. See you on the next one.